Hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom BPOW edition. That is BPOW Picks. In the Patreon app, you can find us, and we are having a grand time over there. Pearls flying everywhere, frolic abound. And starting February 1st, we're going to be doing a Patreon challenge. If you go over there, you can check out our packages. Uh, five, twenty, and twenty-five dollar. If you grab the twenty-five dollar package, you go into a parlay challenge. And if you win every month, everybody puts their parlays out every day, and we put a point system to it. If you win, you get your month for free. But you got to beat me too. Good news is my parlays have been eh, this time. This is so far this year. Usually I run about fifty percent on parlays. This season's been a little tough to start out with. Uh, I expected it to be. Uh, it may be tough all the way through because you have, like, for instance, the Vancouver game, which I'll get into. As you can see here, we'll talk about the games. Uh, uh, the Vancouver game, I didn't, you got, you got to really be watching for injuries. Hamannick was out. I didn't know that. Uh, COVID situations, what's happened with Washington and all of that. Anyways, boys and girls, thank you for your letters of encouragement. It's they, they have been awesome. Guido goes down there every morning. Uh, if he hasn't, if he doesn't have to go to the house of spanking to get himself uh, self a good spanking, because everybody needs that every once in a while. We do naughty things, right? Um, if he doesn't have to do that, first thing in the morning, he goes and gets his letters, and we we, we read them out to us. He we we put a pour them on the letter table. He comes up and pours on the letter table, and Helen who grinds out the pearls for us and makes the Pearls of Wisdom necklaces. If you subscribe right now, we'll send you a Pearls of Wisdom necklace. And Hernandez or Melissa will get in the Perlocopter and bring it over to you. There also, we do the little Perlo dance around and yay, they're the letters. So anyways, we got some letters of thanks from uh, Craig Yvonne Larotsky from uh, Holland. Uh, I don't know where in Holland. Said, Thank you. I won a lot of money with your picks a couple days ago. Short letter, but uh, you're welcome, Craig Avon, if that's your real name. And uh, um, Paul Lamont from Montreal, Quebec, also wrote, I, had, I hit a five-team parlay. Five-team parlay. Four, 25 to one because of my picks. So these people are excited and they're sending letters. And I thank you all for your letters and your subscriptions and everything you give. We love you. Okay, so we're going to look at yesterday's picks. Eh, and then we're going to give you some picks for tomorrow. Cool, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, let's go check them out. Um, okay, this, is, this game is still going on, as you can tell. This is on NHL The Score. Um, I had the Canadians... PL and uh, came in, uh, except I also had the under. And this is why we, I, I didn't realize that Hamannick was injured. Uh, and, of course, Edler was already out. Canucks had played seven, ten, uh, seven games in ten nights. Uh, there was no doubt the Canadians were going to win this. I put, big, I put big pearls on it, but uh, I really should have thought the over to bad by me. Kings versus Avalanche. I have, I have the Avalanche ML and the over here. It's in the second. I need two goals in the third to get the over and hopefully the Avalanche score them and we're good there. Bruins Flyers. I had this game under all day. I do believe I gave you in my video. By the way, I gave in the video I gave you guys, uh, I, didn't, I didn't give you a pick for the Avalanche. I think I gave you yeah, I gave you the under for that. So, But I gave you the Bruins ML. I did not give that to my patrons. I gave the under. Obviously not under. I'm telling you right now, I bet Bruins Flyers under every single game. Because 20% of the time, I'm going to be wrong. If I'm only losing 20% of the time, I'm going to bet it every game. Depending on a few things. Depending on goaltender situations, injuries. Maybe I change my mind. But... With a roster that was fairly, uh, that had uh, 
Car or Carter Hart and Tuka Rask in. The defense for Philadelphia was suspect, but the Bruins should have been fine. This game should have been under all day, but it wasn't. So it is what it is. Well, we did get the ML on the Bruins. Islanders, I gave you the Islanders ML, and I also had the under for my patrons, so we did fantastic on that one, didn't we? Yes. Uh, scary moment. Devils put in Wedgwood at the last second. Apparently, Blackwood had COVID issues. I did not see any update on that on any of my apps for goaltending. It was like the last minute. Scary. Wedgwood was in, but uh, Wedgwood hadn't played since 2018 in the NHL and got rocked the two times he did. He got rocked in this game too, but not rocked enough because the... Uh, uh, the Islanders did manage to keep it under five and a half. I love the Islanders for that. They generally do that sort of thing. Lightning. I went against my own advice. I never bet the Blue Jackets PL. The Blue Jackets had been coming in so poorly, I decided to take the Lightning uh, PL in this game. The Lightning were fresh. Blue Jackets were struggling. What happens? They go to OT like the Blue Jackets usually do, to especially to the Lightning, and I have to get a small spanking over at the House of Spank, Perlo's House of Spanking. Perlo's House of Spanking, it's the best there, I said it. Come visit any time. Also, I also want to plug uh, uh, Chinky's House of Yoga and Pilates. I go there. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's down for the COVID right now, but um, if you ever go there, once, COVID, once the COVID is over, Ask for Poon, and uh, she will direct you to some fine Pilates and yoga over there at Chinky's House of Pilates and Yoga. Jets versus Senators. I had the under on this game, and I nailed it. I think I gave you the Senators to win this game. I won't be doing that anymore. The Jets were very tired. I thought the Senators maybe were going to be a little better than they are and it turns out I don't think the Senators are going to be great and part of the reason why is Mr. Murray just is playing as poorly as he was in Pittsburgh and that could be big troubles for the Ottawa Senators because they gave him a lot of money now their defense isn't stellar but I thought that they would be able to beat a really tired Jets team however I didn't give it to my patrons because I don't trust the Senators and I did take the under and we got it of course Carolina the Panthers and Hurricanes are uh, postponed due to COVID. So let's go over to our odds and we'll do our games for tomorrow. New York Rangers versus Pittsburgh. I have a play on the line here for, pay, for paying customers. So we will go on the total and see what we got. Rangers, Pittsburgh, six and a half. That is, I think they're going to be rolling with Shesterkin here. Uh, Pittsburgh's defense is, I could see this being over. I really do. But I could also see it being under. Is Jar, how's Jari going to play? Six and a half is a lot. I'm going to lean to the under here. And I really don't know why, except that the Rangers sometimes are struggling. So to score this year, um, Shesterkin, I think is going to get better. I don't think he's going to stay as Poor, poor as he has. And I think Jari can at least stop enough to make it like a 4-2 game or something like that. Whoever wins it, I can't tell you who. So don't even try to figure it out because I can't tell. Shh, I can't tell. Okay. Buffalo versus Washington. Well, we have the whole COVID situation going with Washington, don't we? Ovechkin, Orloff, Kuznetsov, all the offs. Uh, no, Ovechkin's not an off. But anyways, all the Russians. Samson off, out. So that means they're rolling with Vanacek, who looked a little shaky last game. Uh, do I have, what did I have a play on here? You know what? I can give you both, because I don't think I have a play on this game. I think it's a 50-50 game. And Buffalo has their own problems. I think over... Five and a half is probably a good play here. 
The only reason why I'm a little dicey on it is, of course, I just mentioned that Ovechkin and Kuznetsov is going to, are not going to be in. Um, this is a really tough to game to cap. I'm probably going to lean over, and I may even put that in as a pick tomorrow. It's going to depend on goaltending and stuff like that. As far as the ML is concerned, I think here, they're, see, they're not giving you, oh, look at this. If you can get over to opening, these are all the, by the way, these are all the different uh, uh, sites out there for betting and their odds. And you can look at these, peruse these, I'll let you peruse them. Go to, uh, go to uh, Bodog, uh, just look up, now what the heck is this? Yeah, Bodog Sports Picks or something like that, and it gives you this. Uh, but I'm going to go, we'll come down here. See, on most of them they have Buffalo 177. I think it's going to be close. Might as well take the juice and go Washington. They're both kind of rested. Uh, I think Washington probably will be playing for OV and their mistakes that they made. Uh, maybe be able to pull it through. But honestly, it's a kind of a coin flip to me. So if you're going to coin, flip a coin, you might as well take the juice. That's what I always say. All right? Old wives' tale. Maybe. Toronto versus Edmonton. Tor Edmonton has just played too much hockey. Uh, I'm going to give you a free pick here. Toronto ML is your free pick. Uh, as far as the line is concerned, it's probably going to be 6.5. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm going to go under 6.5 here simply because uh, Edmonton's probably too tired to score enough here for uh, to get up to 6.5. So... I, I'm I'm not putting that as a pick. So those are pretty solid picks that are not. One is probably a paid pick, and the other one might be. So pretty solid picks. Detroit, Chicago. I have a play on the line here. Good play. You want to go over and check that play out at Patreon. You want to do that. As far as the over under is concerned, this seems like all of it here. Uh, Detroit has a few injuries. Um, and, uh, sorry, I think the Avs just got a penalty again. They're looking tired. Uh, Chicago can score a lot. They have bad goaltending. Ah. Detroit's going to be playing really good goaltending. I think it's going to be like 3-2. So I guess that meets the under. But as you can tell, I'm not all that confident on it. San Jose, Minnesota. Uh, San Jose can't play defense worth a darn. Uh, Minnesota has been playing pretty good on both sides of the both sides of the puck. Uh, San Jose's got a losing record. Minnesota's playing really well. Um, I have a play on the line here that might surprise you. I think I'm going to go over five and a half on this for you guys. Nashville, sorry, it was uh, it's uh, L.A. that got the penalty. So Colorado's got another power play. Quick is just going off here. I, I need him to stop doing that. <laughs> Nashville versus Dallas. Um, Dallas's first game, this one's tough. I got to play on the total. As far as the line is concerned, I can give you a line here. I'm going to go for Dallas. Dallas at 205. Why not? It's probably, again, a coin flip because we haven't been able to see Dallas. Dallas is fairly fresh. Nashville, Nashville's inconsistent. I go Dallas 205. Uh, Vegas, Arizona. I got to play on the line. Um, total, I believe it's going to be five and a half. They keep on going five and a half because going by Arizona's. Uh, no, that's a spread. Total going by Arizona's uh, play last year. However, Vegas just keeps on scoring on them. So I would probably go the over here again. Every game has been over so far. Um, you figure Darcy Kemper would be able to keep him in, but Arizona, uh, one thing is Ekman Larson's hurt. So yeah, go the over. I don't think I'm going to put that in for patrons, but I may. Uh, Colorado, Anaheim. 
Colorado is going to be playing four games in six. I'm watching the game right now, and honestly, Colorado looks tired against LA. Now, that's against LA, who is a very heavy, tough team to play against. So they're going to have to get in a plane tonight and go to Anaheim, which isn't that far away, uh, not far away at all. But they're still playing four games in six. Could be an interesting play to take Anaheim here. Uh, I think I'm going to put something in on the total. But see, and that's uh, let's go. What's the line on Anaheim? I think Anaheim PL might be the play here. Anaheim PL. So they only have to win by one, and you're still getting what's the spread? You're still getting 169 on that play. That's probably the highest percentage play that you can put here. Uh, Colorado will likely win this game, I would say. But being super tired, I like especially four games in six against just about any team, I try to avoid it. Um, tough call. Tough call because of how many games Colorado has played. Anyways, boys and girls, that's my full 42. Thank you for coming in and enjoying this fine programming. I absolutely am in glee when you come around to my place. I'm tomorrow afternoon, that being the 21st. Tomorrow the 21st? Today, tomorrow's the 22nd. Uh, yes, tomorrow's the 22nd. The 22nd, I'm going to be live with the GOAT, John, from Off the Wall Hockey. And uh, we will be uh, doing uh, a we will be doing a review of la of tonight's games and looking into the games after that. Um, it's not generally about betting and stuff. It's just purely about hockey. We'll be talking about some of the things that are happening, probably talk a lot about the whole Washington situation there and all of that. And it's fun. It's fun. And it's interactive. So you can, you can talk to us and tell us what you think and give us your wherewithal. Don't sit here thinking we know everything because we don't. I, I know that surprises you. <laughs> but we, um, what I do know, I get from talking to people like you find people. Also, put your comments down there in the comment section. Tell me what you're playing. I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you. Give me your picks. What do you, who do you think is going to win and lose and all of that? Because I want to connect. I want to connect with you boys and girls. Have a great day. Lots of love to y'all.